Sydney, I'm so sorry. I just, I really hated it, honestly. Hello, my beauties. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Janelle, if you're new. And if you're not new, my name's still Janelle, but you already knew that. Thanks for being here. So today, I am very, very excited about today's video, or I guess this vlog, um, because I am going to be reading my lovely, lovely best friend here on YouTube, Sydney. I am going to be reading her favorite books this week and i'm really really excited but i'm also really nervous because one of these books that's her favorite i i didn't like it and i dnf'd it so this is going to be really really interesting but yeah i'm really really excited um before we get into sydney's favorites make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't and also subscribe to sydney's channel if you haven't because she's absolutely amazing and you're gonna love her because i love her and she is literally the best so definitely subscribe to her channel let's talk about Sydney's favorites. So this week while I'm reading Sydney's favorites, she is also going to be reading my favorites. So if you're seeing this video, Sydney's video of her reading my favorite books is also up on her channel. So make sure to check out both videos. Um, but yeah, so Sydney gave me three of her favorite books that I'm going to be reading this week and I'm pretty excited. I also gave her three of my favorite books that she'll be reading this week. Duh. Um, but the first favorite of hers is No Exit by Taylor Adams. This says 13 hours, four strangers, one missing child, no exit. She knows her odds, she'll fight anyway. I'm just gonna read the synopsis of each of these books because I don't even know what some of these, well, this one is about specifically. Um, so let's read it together, shall we? On her way to Utah to see her dying mother, college student Darby Thorne gets caught in a fierce blizzard in the Colorado Rockies. With the roads impassable, she's forced to wait out the storm at a remote highway rest stop with no cell phone reception, of course. Inside are some vending machines, a coffee maker, and four complete strangers. Desperate to find a signal to call home, the exhausted young art student goes back into the storm and makes a horrifying discovery. In the back of the van parked next to her car is a little girl locked in an animal crate. Who is the child? Why has she been taken and how can Darby save her? There's no way to call for help and no way out. One of her fellow travelers is a kidnapper, but which one? Trapped in an increasingly dangerous situation on the edge of civilization with a child's life and her own on the line, Darby must find a way to break the girl out of the van and escape, but who can she trust? This sounds absolutely amazing. Um, if you have watched any of Sydney's videos, um, she has talked about this on her channel and she has mentioned it being her favorite and I can totally see why because this sounds so thrilling and so so intense. I'm so excited for this. Um, so this is not the edition that Sydney has, by the way. This is the mass market paperback. This is the only edition that my Barnes & Noble had. So this is one I got. Um, but I am like uber excited. So that's one of them. The second one, um, which I feel like is a lot of people's favorite books. So it's got to be good, right? Um, but that is People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. And this is like a lighthearted romance is what I've heard. Um, but this says two best friends, 10 summer trips, one last chance to fall in love. I love it. I am really not a romance reader, but I have read Beach Read by Emily Henry and I really did like that one. So I am excited about this one because I've heard this one is even better. It says Poppy and Alex, Alex and Poppy. They have nothing in common. She's a wild child. He wears khakis. She has insatiable wanderlust. He prefers to stay home with a book. And somehow ever since a fateful car Faithful car share home from college many years ago. They are the very best of friends. For most of the year, they live a far apart. She's in New York City and he's in their small hometown. But every summer for a decade, they have taken one glorious week of vacation together until two years ago when they ruined everything. They haven't spoken since. Poppy has everything she would want, but she's stuck in a rut. When someone asks when she's last truly happy, she knows without a doubt that it was on that ill-fated final trip with Alex. And so she decides to convince her best friend to take one more vacation together, lay everything on the table, make it all right. Miraculously, he agrees. Now she has a week to fix everything. If only she can get around the one big truth that has always stood quietly in the middle of their seemingly perfect relationship. What could possibly go wrong? This sounds marvelous. I am super, super excited about this one um, because I did love Beach Read so much. So it makes me very excited for this one as well. Um, and yeah, I've heard great things. I think it's gonna be a good time. And the last book that I'm going to be reading this week is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. And if you are a 
longtime subscriber, you have known that I DNF'd this book in January. Um, I got it for Christmas. I was super excited and read it and it was not what I expected. And so I just put it away. Um, but we are coming back to it. And to be quite honest, like I'm nervous, but I'm also super, super excited. Like I think maybe because I have a different expectation this time, it actually could end up being really good. So I'm interested to see how this goes. Um, I feel like everybody knows this book, but I'm gonna read the synopsis anyways, because you know, we wanna be fair to all the books. This says, never pray to the gods that answer after dark. France, 1714, in a moment of desperation, a young woman named Adeline meets a dangerous stranger and makes a terrible mistake. And she realizes the limitations of her Faustian bargain, being able to live forever without being able to be remembered by anyone she sees. Addie chooses to flee her small village as everything she once held dear is torn away. But there are still dreams to be had and a life to live and she is determined to find excitement and satisfaction in the wide beckoning world, even if she will be doomed to be alone forever or not quite alone. As every year on her birthday, the alluring Luke comes to visit, checking to see if she is ready to give up her soul. Their darkly thrilling game stretches through the ages, seeing Addie witness history and fight to regain herself as she crosses oceans and tries on various lives. It will be 300 years before she stumbles into a hidden bookstore and discovers someone who can remember her name. And suddenly everything changes again. This sounds as magical as when I read the synopsis the first time but I still am really, really nervous for it. And I'm scared that I will DNF it again. I don't want to, I want to love this book because everybody loves it. I want to love it. So I'm determined to try and come out loving it <laughs> this time. Um, but because I feel like I'm gonna struggle the most with this book, I'm actually going to start off with this book. So maybe I can just like get through it if it's not my cup of tea. Um, so I'm gonna be starting with this book. Um, it is, currently Wednesday. I'm going from Wednesday to Wednesday reading these um, and then this will be up the following Sunday um, but it is currently 9 30 so it's pretty late so I think no matter what I pick up I'm not going to get very much reading done um, but I will be reading obviously throughout this week um, and I think for me to finish these on time I have to finish them like every two days <laughs> so and I really want to finish on time so um, but yeah so I'm going to be starting off with The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue um, I'll probably do a little bit of filming tonight for it um, but probably not a lot because again it is late and I'm already tired so that's not a good start <laughs> I would have started this earlier, but today was a, a mess, okay? Super, super excited. Um, let's, let's go ahead and start. I'm so nervous. It's Friday and it's 2.31. So Jonathan and I decided this morning that we were going to get up and go get some fall decor for our little apartment because this is our first like holiday season that we have our own place. And it's the first one that we're spending together married. So we're like super excited. So we went and got a bunch of fall decor because one of our kind of decor craft stores. Um, we're having 40% off their fall decor and their Christmas decor. So we're gonna be going back for Christmas too because we're big Christmas people, um, and, but I'm a big pumpkin person. So, Visible Life of Addie LaRue, we know I am only on page 35. So I haven't made much progress in this and I've been really, really busy these last two days than I anticipated, um, but today I'm not. So I'm just going to be 
John and I are gonna clean the house because the house is a wreck and I can't function when the house is a wreck. Um, and then I am just literally gonna be reading the rest of the day and I hope to finish the book. Um, my thoughts so far, I actually am enjoying it. As you guys can see, there's a few tabs in it, um, which I'm really surprised by. Um, I have two pink tabs, which is like something that I love. And then I have a blue tag, which is like something sad or like something that just kind of like makes my heart break a little bit. And then I do have an orange tab for like a funny thing, which I'll read this to you, this funny part, because it's only page 33. So it's not like a huge spoiler. Um, but it says, tell me about tigers. Adeline says, having heard of the massive cats from Estelle who heard of them from the Mason who was part of a caravan that included a woman who claimed to have seen one. So like, like she doesn't even know if like tigers actually exist because she just heard like through the grapevine. Like I just thought that was funny. Um, but yeah, so I'm hoping to make some progress in this, hopefully finish it. Uh, without uh, any more of my blabbering, I'm going to clean the house and then get to reading. Hello my beauties, it's good to see you. It is now Saturday, it's 4.45, it's very late today in the afternoon. Um, I had my nephew today and we just brought him back like two hours ago and then Jonathan and I just filmed a video for a new series that we're doing. Um, so that was really fun. Um, but now let's talk about some reading, some updates. So, Addie LaRue, um, I am enjoying it a lot more this time. I do have some tabs going on um i am currently this is not accurate because i'm also so i'm listening to it on audiobook while i read it physically so this is not right like my book says i'm on page 184 but i can tell you i'm farther into it than that probably like 200 something maybe um so not really sure where i am in this book um but i am enjoying this a lot more this time than i did the last time that i read it which is Making me feel so much better because I'm not gonna lie, I was really, really nervous to read this book, especially it being Sydney's favorite. And I was like, if I hate this, like as much as like I know she won't take it personally, like I'm, I was still like, I don't want to hate any of her books while I'm filming this. So yes, but um, so far I am enjoying it again. Um, I don't think it's gonna be a five star for me um, because again, this just isn't my reading taste. Um, but it is still enjoyable. So there's that. Um, but since it's taking me so long to get through that book and I'm just ready to like finish a book this month, like it is literally September 4th and I have finished no books so far. And based on last month's wrap up, like I'm just like, this is not okay. Like by this point in the month, I had already finished like three books. <laughs> so I'm like, and I want to beat that record. So I'm like trying to like challenge myself and read even more this month. Um, but obviously it's not working out that way because your girl's struggling over here. Um, and it's not because I'm not enjoying the book. It's because I think I need a little boost kind of thing. So 
So I think I am actually going to start on No Exit by Taylor Adams today just because I need something to kind of like spark my interest again. Um, and again, it's not because I'm not enjoying Addie LaRue. I think it's just because it's so slow paced for me and it's very, uh, it's a, it's like lyrical writing, I feel like. So it's just a little difficult uh, for me to get through it. I need something a little bit more like to the point. And I feel like this is gonna do it for me. This sounds really, really interesting. Uh, and this is one of those books I could finish really fast. It has like 350 pages and the pages are like small with big font. So I feel like it won't take me that long to get through this book at all. So I am just going to go ahead and start this. And then Jonathan and I, I think are going to go see a movie tonight because Saturday nights are our date nights. So we are gonna go see, um, what are we seeing? We're gonna go see Free Guy. I literally have never heard of this movie, but Jonathan is really excited about it. So that's what we're gonna go do uh, for our date night. Um, but until then, I'm going to get started on this and then I will get back to you guys probably later tonight, I think, um, to update you guys on progress in this. Um, and then I know for sure we'll talk tomorrow, so. I please disregard how crazy I look. Jonathan just got done tickling me to death. Okay, so I'm giving a little bit of a reading update. It is Sunday night. It is 8.42. Um, wow, I really do look like a maniac. Okay. Um, Jonathan and I just got back from his parents' house. We had dinner there tonight um, with his siblings um, and their spouses. And so I just wanted to give a quick update. I have finished No Exit by Taylor Adams and I think I'm going to give this, I can't tell if I wanna give it 4.5 or five stars. Um, so I'm kind of gonna sit on it a little bit, but it is in that range. So obviously I really, really loved it. So yes, highly recommend this. So good. So Sydney, there's one point for you. But uh, the next thing I'm going to be focusing on is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Um, I am currently on page 200. Oh, I am like less than halfway through this book. As you guys can see, I should turn it this way. This is how much I've read. This is how much I've left. Um, I'm hoping to finish it. I think I have about six hours left of my audiobook, um, and that's in two times speed. So I have six hours left of two times speed. I think it's six hours I love, or maybe it's five. I don't know. Um, it's a lot though. Um, so I'm hoping I can get about an hour-ish done tonight, and then um, also get maybe like two hours done before I go to work, and then hopefully finish it tomorrow night is I'm gonna try and map it out that way um, because I am obviously like enjoying it, but I think it's a little too slow paced for my liking and the writing style isn't something that I'm necessarily drawn to. Um, so I am struggling with it a little bit, but I think I can get through it. Um, it's just a matter of like, just like doing it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that uh, before I go to bed. Although I probably won't vlog any of it because I kind of need to just like chill for the day. Um, but yeah, that is my update. So hopefully I can knock this out so we can get two people we meet on vacation because I am dying to read that. Hi, so it's Monday now and it is 4.38. Um, I'm just hopping in really quick to give you guys an update. Um, I am gonna be doing some reading today. Um, I am having company over at from like six to eight-ish. So that is gonna cut out some of my reading time, but I'm planning to read before and after that. So. Um, I'm hoping to finish um, Addie Lurie today. Um, I'm on page 267. I think I have about three and a half hours left of my audiobook. So I'm thinking if I read an hour now, then it should be bearable for later. There should be enough. Like I should have enough time um, because I still wanna get to bed at a decent time later. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking that I'm just gonna try and read an hour worth of this and then maybe a little more if I have some time. Um, and then just finishing the book off later tonight. So that is my plan. 
Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do a little bit of reading and hopefully finish this and then hopefully I'll be able to start on the next book tomorrow. Hi, it's what's today? Tuesday. It is 8:26. I've been up since 6 a.m. Um, Jonathan had today is Jonathan's early day at the church, so he has to be there at like 6:30, and I had to take him because we only have one car right now. So I just stayed up. I was already awake. Um, I finished Addie Larue. Sydney, I need you to know that you're watching this at your own risk. Okay. So this next part might get a little passionate, but just know that I still love you, okay? Um, <laughs> after 442 pages of this book, I still didn't really like it. Like, I don't, the first time I read it, we know that I DNF'd it because I was just like, this is slow moving. I don't understand the point. Like, what, like, what are we doing? Which is kind of how I felt the majority of reading this. Like, I have tabs of like, quotes that I liked from the book or like moments that I was like oh that's sad but this book did not wreck me like I feel like it does for most people like I don't know and then the ending I just like I just I really hated it honestly you guys know that the ending is what really does it for me for a book like if I'm not if the book is like okay but the ending is like stellar like I'll still probably give it five stars like just because it brought me to a point of like wow this is great um but no no i no which i feel like terrible like i wish i wasn't the person that didn't like this book like i wish i liked it and i wish i enjoyed it more than i did but i felt like this book was 442 pages and it should have been 200 like i really felt like some of the things in this book that like we i don't know some of the times that we were following addy i felt like was pointless like i was like what does this have to do with anything? Like, I don't know. I also feel like this synopsis really did not match the book at all. Like, I feel like the synopsis makes you feel like it's going to be this fantasy, like, girl makes a deal with the devil, and you have this, like, idea that, which, let me just go get the synopsis. Let me just go get the dust jacket. In the synopsis, up until the last paragraph of the synopsis, you're thinking that there's going to be this relationship, this kind of like a, a romance between Addie and um, Luke. Like th this is what you think. But then the very last paragraph is like, oh, she's gonna meet someone in a bookstore who remembers her name. And you're like, oh, okay. So like, it's gonna be this special someone, maybe they fall in love. And so then your mind goes somewhere else. Well, I felt like this synopsis was so unfair to the book because I had this expectation of this romance, adventure, like this is gonna be like this great, like I don't know. I just feel like the synopsis does not match the book at all because I don't feel like I got anything like that out of this. Like, yes, I got some romance, but I just also, I don't, I didn't really like Addie as a character. Like, I just, I don't, I don't know what it was. Maybe, okay, this is going to be really harsh. Sydney, I'm so sorry. I just felt like Addie was so whiny. Like, I really felt like she was just a whiny character. I understand. Like, you, you made a deal with this darkness, whatever, and now you have to live forever and everybody forgets you. But, like, you made the deal. I don't know. Like, <laughs> And then, I don't know, I just, 
I was really, I, I just really struggled like this whole book. And I was talking to my mom yesterday and she was asking me, oh, what book are you reading? And I was like, I'm reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. And she looks at me because she knew, she knows that the first time I stopped reading it because I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. Well, she looks at me and she's like, you're trying it again. And I'm like, yeah. And I'm explaining like this video, this vlog that I'm doing, I'm reading Cindy's favorites and she's reading mine. And she's like, well, how, how do you like it this time? And I literally did not even respond. I just kind of look, I just was kind of looking at her and she was like, you still don't, you still don't like it. And I was like, no, I was like, I mean, like there are beautiful quotes. Like I will say the writing is beautiful. Like the execution of this book is great. The concept is, I think it's a great idea, but it just didn't do it for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna put this back on the shelf and we are going to start a new book this morning, but I'm gonna shower for the day first and then I'll start a new book. Let, let me, let's talk about what we're starting next. Okay, I'm really, really excited about this one. We're starting People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. This, I'm like, okay, give me some romance because no. Um, so really, really excited to be starting this. I'm hoping to finish this by like tomorrow um, because that's kind of my deadline uh, to try and get it done. Although let me see how many pages this is. Okay, so yeah, I am definitely going to be reading this. I'm gonna take it to work to read some. Hopefully I can get about halfway through it today and then I'll only have the other half to finish for tomorrow. I probably won't talk to you guys again either until later today when I get off work or tomorrow. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna move on to something better. Hi guys. Okay, so it's Thursday. It is 2.39. Um, I got off work early today because I'm not really feeling great. I'm feeling kind of nauseous and like my stomach is hurting. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of like a normal for me. So it's probably time to go to the doctor. Um, I am still reading People With Me on Vacation by Emily Henry and I'm still enjoying it. Um, I can't decide if I like it more than I like Beach Read or less. Like I really, I can't decide yet. I think the, I don't know, reading more of it is definitely going to help me decide. Um, but I'm currently on page 178. So I am definitely behind on where I want. I wanted to finish this yesterday and that is not, we're not there. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm about halfway through this, so that's nice. Um, but I am planning to finish this hopefully today. Um, I have about an hour and a half-ish to read until I need to do a little bit of editing. Um, or I might just save all of my editing until later tonight and literally just knock out this book. I think I'm just gonna read for the next few hours and then I'll do my editing later tonight. Um, but yeah, so that is kind of my plan. But yeah, I'm gonna do some reading and uh, I'm going to light my fall candles in my house and just cozy up on my couch and have some fun with Alex and Poppy.
Hi, so it is now Friday. I finished People With Me on vacation last night and I really, really did enjoy this. I don't know. I think I'm gonna give this one 4.5 stars because this one didn't bring me to tears out of pure happiness like Beach Read did. Um, but I really did enjoy this. I have a lot, I don't know if you can, oh yeah. So I have a lot of pink tabs. I also, it's hard to see, but I do have some dog ears going on. Um, so I did really, really enjoy it, but it's not quite a five star for me. And I think it's because the pacing in the beginning was kind of, bleh. that's how I kind of felt about it. So it's not a five star, but I do want to give a recap of all of the books because this is where I am going to end this vlog. Taylor Adams, No Exit. We loved it. Five stars. It was amazing. You should read it. Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. We didn't like it. No. Read it if you want, but I'm not reading this ever again. I don't think ever. There were moments that I liked, but the overall story, no, not just not a fan. Um, and then people we meet on vacation, like I just said, we love it. You should read it. It's amazing. So yeah, those are the three books that are my lovely, lovely friend Sydney's favorites. And I think this was pretty successful. Like I did have fun two out of the three books. So I'd say it's pretty successful. Um, I don't think it's going as successfully over on her side of things. Um, so we'll see, maybe it is, but last time we talked, I don't know. Anyways, that's not the point. Um, but yes, if you made it to the end of this video and you have not watched Sydney's video, make sure to go do that. Hers and my video are going to be going up at the same time. Make sure you go check it out. I think that's all. And if you're this far into the video, thank you. I really appreciate it because I have a feeling this is going to be ridiculously long. Um, and if you're this far into this video and you loved this video, you should consider subscribing. It's a really great next step to make. Uh, I personally haven't done it to this channel, but I have subscribed to other channels and it's it's a nice time. So yeah, um, yeah, that's all I have for this video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. And Sydney, I did love your picks, although one really fell very, very short, but still love you. And I would totally do this again in a heartbeat. <laughs>